What's up my crypto legends? In this episode we're just doing a quick update on the BTC US dollar pair. It is the moment of truth now that we need to break out the $53,700 range. If not, we'll be breaking down and coming to retest the $51,500 area. We'll be checking out the Ethereum US dollar pair also. Are we going to break out from this descending broadening wedge? The first target would be the $1,725 area. And if you are interested in trading all of this, make sure to check out the Prime XBT leverage trading platform, guys. I've got a link in the description. And if you use Bitcoin Census 50 as the promotion code, you'll be getting 50% in addition of what you deposit. So you deposit $2,000, you'll be getting $1,000 on top of that to trade with, guys. I am working on the best Prime XBT tutorial so make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done yet and let's go straight into the video hello there andy here and welcome back to another episode of bitcoin census where you subscribe for the quickest technical analysis and news on bitcoin cryptocurrency and the financial markets i'm not a financial advisor so don't buy or sell anything that i say and if you do so do your own research and said this let's go straight into the chart all right guys taking a look at the 15 minute chart here on the btc us dollar pair i know everything is looking extremely bearish we are in a downtrend and we have broken major support area but I want to remain bullish in the short term. I am a Bitcoin bull and I want to show you the short term technical analysis. OK, we did break down for we did break up from this descending wedge. Now we are creating an uptrend and it is the moment of truth to see if we are going to break the fifty three thousand seven hundred dollar range where I have this blue horizontal line, which is incredible resistance. I showed you with the VPVR. It has been very hard support to break to the downside and we did break below with a decent amount of volume. Volume. Now, looking at the short term technical analysis, we did create this descending wedge, okay, that I mentioned in my last videos. We broke to the upside, okay, this is bullish in the short term. We are creating like an ascending triangle kind of formation pattern. We did touch the resistance once. We are probably going to touch it very soon here. We are creating an uptrend. So there is buying pressure. OK, we are creating higher lows all the time and we are getting supported, as you can see here. If we break this trend line to the downside, it is very likely we will be coming down to retest the $51,500 range where I have this green box area. But now it looks like that we are creating like a symmetrical, an ascending triangle, sorry. We have retested it once already. It looked like it was creating a, a bull pennant or a bull flag, as you can see here on the chart. If I zoom in, let's go to the five minute chart. As you can see, we were pumping with a decent amount of volume. It looked like we were creating a pennant. I was expecting this to break to the upside, but we broke to the downside. OK, the measured move would be getting the width of this um, symmetrical triangle or the pennant from the break. We broke down. As you can see, we met the target right here. And um, now we are getting supported from this uptrend, as you can see, creating higher lows. So and now we are going to meet this resistance and this uptrend. So it is decision time for Bitcoin before 10 o'clock tonight. We're going to uh, have to choose a direction to the upside. We're going to have to need a lot of buying power, a lot of volume to continue to the upside and break this huge resistance area. If we break this uptrend line, well, then we'll be coming down and retesting, in my opinion, the $51,500 range, which was the heavy support, as you can see here on the chart. OK, this is the next point as uh, to retest. So we've been bouncing pretty nicely at the green box area. We did have a little bit of a fake out consolidation phase here, came back up. So if we break down from this uptrend line, OK, from the buying demand that is continuing making higher lows, well, we'll be coming down and retesting this area, in my opinion, guys. Also, I want to show you this um, this inverse shoulder head and shoulder pattern, OK, which we formed right here. And um, we might get a bounce also if we break to the downside. Let's go back to the 15 minute chart. And um, we can see that we broke to the upside. We didn't come down and retested it, retested the support. So as you can see, left shoulder, the head, the shoulder. And now we came back up, retested this huge resistance. I know we didn't. I knew we, we weren't going to break it on the first attempt. OK, and potentially we could come down and this will get support also depending on when we are going to 
uh, uh, hit this uh, support area, the green box, and also the, the neckline from this inverse shoulder, head and shoulder pattern. We might get supported here and continue to the upside. If we break down this area, guys, well, we'll have to look, look at some different levels. I am still going to remain bullish because of the descending wedge here, okay? This inverse shoulder, head and shoulder pattern. We need a huge amount of volume to for this resistance to, to break, guys. If we break this resistance with a decent amount of volume, it is time to turn bullish, guys. It is time to turn bullish. Um, one of my measured, uh, one of my targets, uh, like I mentioned, is the fifty-five thousand dollar range, which would be the measured move of this inverse shoulder head and shoulder pattern from the breakout. Okay, this should take us around the fifty-five thousand dollar range. And if we arrive to these levels, next stop is fifty-five thousand five hundred, as you can see here, which has been major, uh, major support and resistance. One touch there and one touch here, as you can see right there, right here. So first would be the measured the target of the inverse head and shoulder, then the next target would be this resistance area, and then the next target, the $57,000, which is the top of this descending wedge. Let's hope that we can break this huge resistance area, guys, in the next coming hours. Let's take a look at the Ethereum US dollar pair also here. We are creating this descending broadening wedge. If we break to the upside, it looks like we are going to have an attempt. This is a bullish pattern, guys. A descending broadening wedge is a bullish pattern, okay? They usually break to the upside. And I mentioned before also, uh, the measured move is the width here of the descending broadening wedge. And to the upside, it should take us almost to the $1,800 area. So probably take some profits at the $1,750. The first target though would be this resistance area it's been huge resistance like i mentioned before also i'll just remind you for any new subscribers look how it's been heavy support we broke below it and it's been heavy resistance okay so once we break above this descending broadening wedge the first target would be the 1725 only if we break to the upside this resistance area and the resistance of the descending broadening wedge, guys. This is what I got for you guys for this short episode. If you haven't checked out the Bitcoin Sensor website, please do. We have got great tutorials and reviews on how to buy, how to store, how to trade Bitcoin safely. We've got the latest news and technical analysis. So I'll be leaving a link in the description of the website so you can check it out. And if you haven't seen my tutorial of the Bybit Leverage Trading Platform video popping up on your screen, a massive thank you for tuning in. Make sure to smash up the like button on your way out and I'll see you in the next one.